Hey everyone, I hope you're having a great afternoon so far. Today I'm going to show you what you can do with some of your herbs. I have a collection of herbs and I can't wait to show you my garden. Let's go check it out. Today in Chef Carolyn's garden, I'm going to teach you a little bit about herbs and what you can do with them. So the first time I'm going to show you is sage. Sage produces little flowers during the springtime only, but during the year round, you can also collect the leaves. This is what a sage leaf looks like. They feel kind of soft and smooth to the touch. Can you guys see it? Look at that. Beautiful, huh? When you decided you want to collect a sage plant, you're only going to collect the leaves, guys. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you. I'm going to break it. This is the only part you're going to eat from the sage plant. There's many ways you can eat sage. You can toss it in with some chicken, right? You can make some chicken stock, which is super easy. Maybe I might show you a recipe later on. Stay tuned for that. So that's one use of sage, and they smell really, really good. They have a nice aroma to it. Pretty neat, huh? Let's go to the next plant. Next herb I wanna to talk to you guys about is dill. Dill has this smell and taste like pickles. You got it. It does smell and taste like pickles. So this tells you dill is used to make dill pickles. Dill, do you get it? <laughs> dill also produces seeds. Remember how I told you that sage has seedlings? Well, so does dill. And this is what they look like. And this is a full maturity of dill. Isn't that beautiful guys? Okay, I got one more plant to show you and let's go. Alright, before I tell you the answer to this plant, can anyone take a guess what kind of plant this is? I'll give you a hint. It's a type of herb. It's basil. You're right. Do you mean like basil from pesto basil? Yep, you guys got it right. This is my basil plant. So basil plant produces little seedlings. Can you guys see here? You can also collect them and store the seeds. Alrighty guys, I just wanted to show you what the seeds of the basil plants look like. If you ever want to collect basil seeds, you have to let them dry first. So these were actually on my basil plant and I saw them dry so I wanted to pick them. Pretty cool, huh? I'm going to stick this down. I also wanted to share with you one last tip before we go guys. You can also make herbal tea with this basil plant. All you gotta do is you pick off one of the flowers, just like that. Maybe you get four or five and you can make a basil tea with it. Add it to a boiling pot of water and add some honey, a little bit of sugar. I said a little bit guys, not a lot. Let it seep for about five minutes and you got yourself some hot basil tea. Well, that's it for today guys. Check out my videos tomorrow for more adventures in Chef C's garden. Talk to you later. Bye guys.